Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The biggest news today is, of course, oh, was that a leak I heard? Oh, well, while well, the president is away, yes, the White House leaks are, well, let's just say, they are totally brewing. Ooh, and well, for now, we're going to bring old Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Know. Again, that sounds like a repeat. Yeah, it's all over every day. It is all over for the Republicans. It's so all over for the Republicans that the president didn't get the memo from his campaign people when he yesterday had a campaign speech. Now, basically, he is now absolutely known as the campaigner in chief, no longer as president, because he, he has now done twice as many campaign events as did George Bush and uh, and Jimmy Carter combined, and he's just got to keep rolling them up, and, it's, and he's still got much to go. But he, yesterday, as far as health care is concerned, you know, uh, it's time to move beyond health care. We won. We make the rules. Get over it, he said again. He read it word for word off his teleprompter, and then they heard that, you know, they heard the groan. Oh, God. You know, he just... They, they, it's just gaff. He basically starts off the month of July with another major gaff. They want it to be buried because even Nancy Pelosi now has said, well, the Republicans cannot overturn it, but we'll talk to them about dismantling it. Mm -hmm. That's not a good sign when Nancy Pelosi says the word dismantling it because they cannot run on the taxes. And Michelle Obama cites Jesus as a model for citizenship. These, these people would basically... If they thought Attila the Hun could get them votes, they go talk about, you know, Attila the Hun was probably misunderstood. Mm -hmm. And you should follow his, his examples. Mm -hmm. An Arizona businessman appears to commit suicide in court. Well, yeah, they basically, it looks like he, he uh, who are you going to like? His name was Michael Marin. Oh, oh really? Yeah, uh -huh. and Michael L. Marin. We, we know a Michael L. Marin, so, but uh, he basically got convicted of burning his house down because of a foreclosing on it. Mm. And he killed himself right there in front of you. And it's ridiculous, folks. It's just a bloody house. You just, you lose it, you move on to the next one. Basically, they really do not hold foreclosures against you when you go buy a new home. And, oh, they don't? No, because they can't, they want to sell the homes. Oh, Charlie Rangel's victory questioned with uncounted votes looming. Well, yeah, basically, uh, the problem is, is with the state election board, which is controlled by Democrats, they, okay, this was the primary for the Democrats, and they think Rangel should go, but the, uh, Rangel basically has lost 24% of his vote lead. He was, he just, it was just a massive percentage of the vote he got, and then all of a sudden, they start finding votes, and now Rangel is only, uh, was, as of today, he's 14 votes ahead, and he had a 14,000 vote lead. Interactive. Will Obamacare expand Medicaid in your state? No, because most of the governors aren't going to buy it. Now that the Supreme Court has said the federal government cannot put unfunded mandates on you, they're not going to expand to something. They can't afford Medicaid to begin with. So therefore, they, they're just all going to opt out of it, and the federal government... Here, well, they said it's only going to raise the taxes on a small percentage of people. Yeah, anybody that's actually paying taxes... Which is actually, the, I love that the guy said this morning um, on, on Bloomberg, he said, yeah, if, if you're not paying taxes, it's not going to bother you in the slightest. But if you're that small percentage that actually does pay, mm -hmm. you're going to get hit by one tax after. Actually, you got 20 taxes coming up, and then you're going to have to pay a special tax for Medicaid, or Medi whatever Medicare, whatever it is, in order to pay for it now. And Louisiana Governor Jindal still refuses to implement Obamacare. He doesn't, he doesn't have to by law. He absolutely well, might. Obamacare really doesn't implement until later anyway. No, but he doesn't have to even do any of the preliminary stuff because the Supreme Court, nine, seven, two of the liberal judges said the United States government does not have the authority to force you to put an unfunded mandate on the people of your state. And basically by saying, well, you've got to do this, you have to do that, and you're just going to have to pay for it because we don't have the money. Mm. So... Cast your vote for this week's dumbest political statement. That was what, that was what followed Obama with his. Now it's going to be this, you know. We won. We won. We make the rules. Now get over it. That was they said was the stupidest thing. And they, okay, if you pay any attention to what's going on, Hillary is really out front now. Bill is pushing Hillary. 
the Carvel is pushing Hillary. The whole party is pushing Hillary. They're trying to push Obama out. There. They're saying, well, you got your victory. You got Obamacare through. Now, get the hell out and put somebody in that basically can get, I mean, they, uh, one person said, we cannot do another four years of nothing getting done in Congress. And if Obama is elected president, that's what you can expect. And George Zimmerman bond decision delayed by judge. Of course they can't do it because they're going to ask for the judge to be removed because you're entitled to bond in this country. And first of all, um, it, like it amounted to, well, gee whiz, he's got more money than what he said they had. Well, when they went in, he didn't know that they were getting money from from campaign donations. That doesn't count as money. I mean, that, that, that people are donating for his legal defense. You can't take money from the legal defense and count it as your money. And White House denies fast and furious cover-up. Yeah, but then why are they covering up for it? But I mean, the Democrats, it's just a racist thing. Uh, and then I, I just simply, I, they buried a Democrat last night on a news thing when the host of the show, in other words, you said, he gave, you give the finger to the parents. and the, You know what the Mexican government says about what the White House is doing? What's that? They, they said that they want to know why the White House is covering up for gun dealers in Mexico. And they said specifically covering for them. Oh, really? Yep. And New York utility union talks collapse amid hot weather. Yeah, because the unions are not going to get, the unions are all demanding raises, which is, they're going to bring this, as they said, we're going to bring this country to its knees and show them who makes this country work. 11% of the people in this union, in the country are union, and the majority of them are, fed, are federal and are state employees. Unions have no clout anymore, but they're trying, they figured, well, we've got a Democratic president. Well, he doesn't give a rat's ass about you. He fired 140,000 of you. Unreal residents tout. Um, tour of Colorado Blaze devastation. Well, yeah, I've been. I had a house burned down, folks. Yeah, I know what it's like. It's not so, fun. And I've also been through like there, like there's people. We we drove through pure hell when we drove through the fire. Well, um, we were doing a Disneyland in Florida and a Disneyland in California thing in the same two weeks. We drove through Colorado. We, you know my. Uh, or the, the youngest little bee was watching the smoke up, and I'm wondering what the hell is all of that. And as we get closer, it says severe hazard, uh, severe ha fire danger in the next 20 miles. And we're driving through. You can see the fire on both sides of the road, and people are driving through the highway with the fire on both sides of the road. I mean, I would have thought they would have stopped it, but no, it didn't. And bicyclists in California climb to Kaiser Right. To climb to Kaiser Ride dies? Yeah, basically it's what? a climb up uh, a hill, uh, hillside. It's, a, it's supposedly a health event. And a the what? person had a heart attack. <gasps> oh, oh, you, okay. you oh, want to try... It's called California Climb to, cli climb to Kaiser. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ooh. Well, sure. because not all... But just because you're fit to do one thing doesn't mean you're fit to do another. Just We, we got... A, a, we got a, a road out here called Sepulveda. That thing goes uphill like you would not believe. Well, it also says the California climbed the Kaiser Ride. It sounds like they went up a hill. Yeah, you went up. They, that was what it was. A, it was a marathon thing, and they went up. We, the California, Los Angeles is built on hills like Rome, folks. People don't understand that. And church attacks in Kenya kill 15 and wound 40. Church attacks? Yeah, they're basically getting rid of all the Christians in Africa. Ooh. An animal rights group says Reno Rodeo horses being shocked. Well, yeah, they probably had their asses kicked and everything else you can think of. My father, when he was uh, working on movies, we, uh, his horse was, you know, one of his horses was called Patrick O'Brien, and he would sit there, the, what the horse would do, the horse would sit there and big inhale a great big amount of air, and then when you put the saddle on, and you get on the horse, then the horse would go, <laughs> and then guess what would happen, the saddle comes. My father would go over and basically walk the, the horse in the side to make certain he expelled the air. The, uh, you know, the, uh, it basically, you, you do things like that if you're going to ride a horse that doesn't like want to be ridden. And GOP to challenge Obama's executive privilege in court. Well, yeah, he has to explain why. He, he cannot just say, I do it. He has to say why he did it and name what is covered. And he doesn't want to do that, so he's ignoring it. Interesting. Well, he has had a history of doing that. Anamonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay.
that if you continually get fed the wrong information and things you're not supposed to be saying by your campaign staff, I think your campaign staff is trying to teach you, tell you something.